find all first order partial derivatives for the function f of x, y, z is equal to the natural exponential raised to sine x plus y, z. So looking at this function, we see one, two, three independent variables. So we are going to have three first order partial derivatives. So here we go. Let's find the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So keep in mind, we are differentiating with respect to x. So we are treating y and z like constants. So here we go. We have the d dx of this beautiful function f of x, y, z. So we are differentiating here with respect to x. And that's the natural exponential raised to the sine x plus y, z. And we can even put little brackets here around that exponent to remind you what is in the exponent. So here we go. We have the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. So we know with the derivative of a natural exponential, it's the derivative of the exponent times the original natural exponential function. So we have the derivative of our exponent with respect to x is going to be cosine of x. And now, what is the derivative of y and z? Well, those are just constants. So the derivative of a constant is 0. So we have cosine of x plus 0 multiplied by the original function, that natural exponential, raised to the sine of x plus yz. And of course, we would simplify this and say that's the partial derivative of the function with respect to x is defined as cosine of x multiplied by the natural exponential raised to the sine x plus yz. And so that is the beautiful final answer here for the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So now we want to go ahead and find the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. So as always, it is essential to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? Well, here we are differentiating with respect to y. So we are going to treat x and z like real numbers. So differentiating this original function with respect to y. So we have the d dy of our original function, that was the natural exponential, raised to the sine of x plus yz. So we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. So again, this is going to be the derivative of the exponent. So we have the derivative of sine of x with respect to y. Well, wait a second, x is a constant. So this, the derivative of a constant is just zero, woohoo! Plus, now we have the derivative of yz, and we're differentiating with respect to y, so z is a constant. So we have z times 1, which is plus z, multiplied by the original natural exponential function. That's the natural exponential raised to the sine of x plus yz. And, of course, we can rewrite this simply saying that this is the partial derivative of the function with respect to y is equal to z times that natural exponential raised to the sine x plus yz. And last but not least, we have one more partial derivative here. We now need to go ahead and find the partial derivative of this function with respect to z. So as always, it is crucial to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? So here we're differentiating with respect to z. So that means x and y are constants. So we are taking the d dz of both sides of our original, originally given function. So we have the d dz of the natural exponential raised to the sine of x plus y, z. So we are left with the partial derivative of this function with respect to z is equal to 
So again, we have the derivative of the exponent with respect to z. So sine of x is a constant. That differentiates to 0. Plus the derivative of yz, which is just y. Because y is a real number. We're treating it like a constant here. And of course, this is multiplied by the original exponential raised to the sine of x plus yz. And we have our beautiful final answer. The partial derivative of the function with respect to z is equal to y times the natural exponential raised to the sine of x plus yz.